Okay, here we go. This is a test radio uh, boombox. Got a tape in it. You can see here it has audio. In fact, I'm going to flip it over so you can tell it's got audio on both sides right there. So it doesn't matter which side I put in, it should play. I'm going to put it in here, hit play, and that's all I get. It tries, and then it comes to a stop. Now, if you actually watch what it's doing with the door open, it tries, and then stops. Now, just so you can tell 110%, I'm going to take this exact same tape, pop it back in here, and it plays just fine. Now, we're going to play a disc. Switch this over to disc mode. See, I got a disc in there. It's not a burned CD. This is a professionally made CD. It's relatively old. And it seeks for a moment. And it plays just fine. Now we're going to pop this CD in your CD player. And I should point out, this is a very good condition disc. It's not in bad shape at all. And pop in your disc player. Switch this over to CD mode. There we go. It says read. We'll hit play. and waiting NF disk whatever that means now if I turn it off turn it on and I don't hit play I just leave it to let it try to find the disk And again, this is taking a while. An F disk. And earlier it said, uh, I want to say it said ERR at the bottom. And it doesn't matter what we push over here. Oh, I hit play. Now it's going to try to seek the disk again. And as I mentioned, this is an old disc. Um, it was the debut release from a band that started about 15 years ago. So I'm guessing the disc is about 15 years old. So it's not like it's a new MP3 disc or something like that. Although even if it were, this claims to be CD rewritable compatible. So even still, it definitely should not be giving me this error. And just so you can tell, 110%, I'm going to pop it back in here and hit play. for a second here. You can definitely tell it plays just fine. So, your radio is definitely defective. Uh, there's definitely something haywire with it. See, if we close it without a disc, I'm curious what it does. No disc. So it definitely is sensing that there is a disc in there when I have a disc. It just can't play it. And as far as the radio functionality, I tested it. The radio seemed to work. Honestly, I don't really care about the radio. We specifically need this for the CD and tape player, not for the radio. Radios are a dime a dozen. Tape players are a little harder to come by. But uh, again, this is definitely non-functional. There it goes again, NF disc, whatever that means.